Good morning, Sagittarius. All is well. Happy Friday. We've made it to Friday. Yay. Um, I hope that you're feeling good today, right? And that your day will be filled with joy. <laughs> if you're looking for personal readings, please check out the link in my description. It will take you there. And remember, today is also the day we do a love reading. Yes. I feel like love has been coming out all week. Uh, but on Fridays, uh, I will do a specific reading on you and your person. For people who want some answers on who they're connected with or thinking of, yeah, let's get it. Okay, Sagittarius. I feel like I don't know if anyone else has felt this and I, and you know, just let me know in the comments if you have. Maybe it's, maybe I'm the crazy one. <laughs> but just irritate it with people. I don't know what. Not y'all, but I don't know. It feels like it's been something in the air, to be quite honest with you. And I really wasn't expecting it, especially with this new moon. It just, I, it just, it still feels like there's an easily irritated energy. So let's get on with it, though, because let's do this. So, interestingly enough, um, the energy guiding you is really nice. Um, I feel like this is really Sagittarius in your energy. Um, now, Merkaba came up here. I hope I'm saying that right, but it is, uh, it's kind of like, you're able to see what's coming, right? The frequency of Markaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to traver traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance as well, merging the totality of our experiences into our present to serve our biggest purpose. So, I mean, you could intuitively, because the Akashic Records is the information of all things. So, you could be, like, it's with alchemy, which is Sagittarius. I mean, we are really great for being able to transmute energy, right? But it feels like um, you may be figuring out intuitively, so pay attention, uh, how to... To make things work. And you know. Especially even. That can be negative things in your life. Or. You know. Even positive things. It just feels like you're. Figuring out how to make things work. For the future. And I love this. Because you know. This and that are true Sagittarius. You know. Mm -hmm. But it does feel. Okay. So, here's what's interesting, because what you're receiving is growth. Um, I feel like you're kind of getting sucked into a situation um, by, it could be a group of people or another person, okay? A and they're kind of careless, impulsive, because the people affecting you this weekend... Okay. Dancer is here, which is actually a good energy, which is about harmony and, and flow and everything. Um, and grace. Uh, it, it feels like someone is trying to suck you into helping them. Um, like, and you may want to Sagittarius, like, this is someone who doesn't think about their actions because there's the fool. They're impulsive. They, and you know what? You may, or they could even ask you for help, right? Even financial help. But <clears throat> I think that this person, they definitely need to be guided onto the right path and you may feel like you want to do that but at the same time 
I, I feel like, because we have this tendency to help everyone, right? That's what we do. I, I just kind of feel like you are deciding not to. You're not getting sucked into it. Um, because you're trying to, to flow with life, right? Weaver of Grace. And so this person... I don't know what it is with this person, but they just don't make the right moves. And I feel like you, as much as you might want to help, um, because you definitely have almost like a, a comfort with them. So it could be family. I feel like you're deciding to not do that. I, I think that, and that sounds harsh, right? But I feel like you're deciding to distance yourself with it. Because there is something that you're moving away from. And this is actually a point of growth for you. And I feel like this is coming because, you know, Sagittarians, we do have this uh, tendency for impulsive behavior, right? <laughs> we, we do. So we understand that. But it's kind of like this is something that you've been really focused on growing from, you know, and so I feel like you are distancing yourself from it because you don't want to get sucked into it, to be honest. Growth is all over this. So you really have a sense of what you need to just remove yourself from. Uh, even if you, you definitely care about this person, you want to help them get right, right? Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. But, you know, honestly, Sagittarius, I feel like you're starting to learn that sometimes it's just a good idea to distance yourself. You know, and you're also learning that in order to overcome even things for yourself, there are certain people who act a certain way with the behaviors you're trying to move from. So you can't, kind of can't be with these people, if that makes sense to you. Because you're planting new seeds. You're, you're even like, it almost feels like completely moving differently. And so in order to do that, you know that there are some things that you have to distance yourself from. And that would definitely be people who who move in that way, who who don't think before they do things. Because you're really in this energy of this path that you're trying to go on that is is more harmonious. You know, um you're not about jumping off cliffs. Let's just put it that way. And so I really really like this for you, Sage. I really like this for you and look you're not going to let anything interfere with that. And I think that that's why you're distancing yourself, which may be difficult because we as Sagittarians, we want to help people and we want to help people grow. But it doesn't mean always that we have to meet people where they are, especially if they're still in this, in a place that we want to move from and don't want to get sucked into. And I feel like that's happening, Saj. And I feel like this is kind of... It's really interesting to me. Because I feel like this is part of your new cycle. And, you know, on the bottom is confrontation. Like, this person may feel like you're judging them. But that's not what, what's happening. Like, you're not judging them. It may cause a confrontation, right? You're not judging them. It's just that, like, with Pendulum, uh, which, I don't know. It just feels like you're trying to create a certain flow in your life. And you've really been working hard on it. You know, and with Rose... Is, is reversed. I just kind of feel like you don't want to go backwards. And, and you just know that you this has to be true for you. You know? 
Okay, okay. Because the kind of weekend it is, is Ten of Pentacles. You may want to just stay home um, or work on your home or work on your stability. Uh, you know, Pentacles are, you know, the Tens are a completion, right? You've really been working on, on getting stable. And it does feel like, that may be part of why people want you to help them. And with the Three of Pentacles, that's about collaboration. Like, and I feel like that's where you're at. Like, if, if we can't talk about that, if we have to jump into every single thing without knowing where we're going to land, I just can't do that. I just can't. And And it's really interesting because you know with the three of cups reverse with the with the devil you're not willing to support habits you're trying to get rid of <laughs> i i really feel that and it may be challenging it really may be challenging sag because you really like i think you care about whoever this is you definitely do. You you care about them. You know, and, and I feel like you're doing it in the most loving way with the Page of Cups. You know, but you also find their lack of clarity and, and kind of like... Uh, the Page of Cups, as nice as it is, and it really is a very loving kind of creative opening up with you know it's definitely an open-hearted energy but it can also be someone who is just delusional right <laughs> just delusional and I feel like you're trying to do this in the most loving way but I feel like it's really about for you you know you're trying to move on from from challenges in your life you're trying to focus on stability and that's what you want the conversation to be and if the conversation isn't about stability if it's about this which yes the fool is usually a very good energy because it's a new beginning it's taking a risk <coughs> but i feel like in this card you know, this person doesn't think about things. Like, they don't think about what they're doing. They just do it. And I feel like you are not willing to do that. Because you're in Pentacles energy. You're not willing to do that anymore. And and I feel like what's happening is you're really showing up in not supporting certain things. You know? the These are things you're overcoming. So, it's like... I'm not going to let you take me there. Sorry. You know, very much feels like I'm not going to let you take me to a place I've grown from. But it's not that confrontational. As a matter of fact, it kind of has a sweet energy, albeit it's immature. And, you know, and I feel like that's why you... I, th I feel like it's very hard for you to tell this person no, you know, um, but it's, it, it's kind of like, that's not where you're at, you know? Yeah, it very much feels like that. Um, there may be some, uh, three of wands and the page of swords. Um, this is what is actually happening, what you're actually doing. So as much as you may want to stay in the home, may want to, and it feels like Sagittarius with their weekends, a lot has been about Sagittarius wanting to just relax, take it easy, um, you know, plan for the future has been a big flow for Sagittarius, which no one lets us do. It kind of feels like you might this might come up because you might need to rescue someone because you're needing to act on something here um which actually does involve you going outside 
<laughs> Such. So, what's supporting you is the Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords. I feel like you... Maybe getting some rest this weekend, right? What the challenge is, is um, the Hierophant and the Knight of Cups, which is interesting. I feel like this is like it may be a challenge because there's things that you have to do because obviously you have to take care of some detail this weekend versus what you want to do. You know, and of course, the Hierophant is, is stronger. And on some level, it's so interesting to me because y you really are planning to distance yourself from this person, but it still feels as if there's something that you have to do for them. I don't know what that is, um, but, you know, this would definitely be someone you feel responsible for in some way. Wow. Wow, that was a big message. So let's take a look at the mystery card, which tends to be what you're not expecting. Oh, mean female and privileged lady you could be coming into money. Poverty. Lovers. Interesting. What is that about? Okay. Let's take a look, Sag, because I don't know. Let's see what this is all about. Because it really could be the need to help someone financially. But where does the lovers come in, Saj? <laughs> Okay, let's see. So tell me about main female. Oh, emperor. Main female and privileged lady. Oh. The emperor is determined to be seen. Main female and privileged lady. Three of Pentacles, again, interesting. Tell me about poverty. Poverty. Poverty for Sag. Six of Wands. Ooh. Tell me about the Privileged Lady. Privileged lady. Ten of Pentacles again. I don't know who might be receiving money. <laughs> it definitely feels that way. Feels like someone is receiving money. The Ten of Pentacles is coming out again. Interesting, with the Three of Pentacles, again. Tell me about the lovers. The lovers. I feel like some of you might be offered a job, which is really going to... Um, 
help you overcome some financial difficulties. Because <coughs> you're moving on from poverty and the Ten of Pentacles has shown up twice. Especially if you are female. Wow, 10 10. <coughs> it also feels like whatever this is, is offering you more money. And you won't have to work as much. Interesting. I feel like you're really happy about it, too. Of course you're happy about it because you're overcoming a financial difficulty. Now, let's look at this lovers because that came out of nowhere. And there's a clean slate here with the stairway to light. Six of swords, knight of cups, four of wands. Oh, my goodness. So someone definitely may be coming to see you or making an offer for a relationship. And it being the clean slate, I feel like this may be someone you know, especially with the Six of Swords. Hmm. They may be at a distance, but we will look at that in the extended. Oh my goodness. And then the Ten of Cups is on the bottom. It's like 10, 10, 10. I feel like life is getting much happier for you, Sagittarius. Pretty soon. And it's so funny because there is someone here who wants to do something for you. And if you watched the opportunities reading yesterday, I, I may actually link that when I post this. Because there was like a conversation with an emperor. That would be a business owner who wants to help you. Especially if you are like going through some challenges. You know, it could be the challenges with the Ten of Wands could just be you have too much on your plate. You're exhausted, right? It is a completion of that energy. You, you know, and being overworked and overburdened. And definitely when it comes to money issues, that may be the case. Because you go from, especially female, let me just say that, main female and privileged lady, like you move into a space of financial stability. All right. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. But let's get, let's get a mantra. Let's get a mantra for you. For the weekend. A mantra for the weekend for my Sagittarians. What is the mantra for Sagittarius? I bring peace with me wherever I go. I love it. Gee, Sag, I know this was a lot. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you for now. Toodles.